If any medical emergency happens, usually professional medical help is not available immediately. It is very important to give first aid to casualty before arriving medical help. If proper first aid could be administered casualty has a greater chance to survive. This presentation is focused on the CPR and based on the European Resuscitation Council guideline. Any type of first aid is depends on chain of survival. Chain of survival is just a series of steps, forming a virtual chain which give the best chance of survival from a cardiac arrest. If all the steps of the chain are followed promptly, then the casualty has the best chance of recovering. Early access to victim, recognition of cardiac arrest and call for help as promptly as possible. Once it has been recognized the cardiac arrest, start the CPR immediately. Ideally there should be no interruption in CPR before the ambulance arrives. Earlier defibrillation. Appropriate and quickest post-resuscitation care in a hospital is essential to improve the recovery of the patient. What is CPR? Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR is a first aid technique to help people who suffer a cardiac arrest. It is external chest compressions and rescue breaths to keep the casualty alive until a defibrillator arrives. External chest compressions means to squeeze the heart between chest bone and backbone, it called, artificial heartbeat, that may result 25-30% out of the actual beats. If the responder finds any problem of blowing in air, artificial breathing, he may apply only external chest compression at a rate of 100 times per minute. Patient Assessment If you find someone collapsed, you can use the mnemonic DRABC to help you remember what to do. Keep calm and check DRABC. Danger Ensure there are no dangers to yourself, other people or the casualty. Ask yourself. Why has the casualty collapsed? Are there any hazards? Am I at risk? Dangers could include, moving vehicles, electricity, water, smoke, or fire. Only help if it is safe to do so. Response. Try and wake the casualty up, are they responsive? Kneel by high sir her head, shout loudly in both ears and tap them on the shoulders if no response, the casualty is unconscious. This is an emergency situation. Try to get help from others however, do not leave the casualty and start the first aid immediately. Airway the airway is the tube which takes air from the mouth and nose to the lungs. When a casualty is unconscious, their tongue can fall backwards and block their airway. To open someone's airway, place one hand on their forehead and tilt their head backwards. Then place two fingers on the bony part of their chin and lift it. This is known as the head tilt, chin lift maneuver. Breathing. Keep your hands on the person's head. Place your cheek above their mouth and look at their chest. Look, listen, and feel for regular breathing for up to 10 seconds. Irregular shallow gasps is not normal breathing and should be treated as not breathing. Compressions Lock your fingers of both hands, keep both hands locked and place heel of one elbow on the middle of sternum. Ensure your elbows are locked and your shoulders positioned above the chest. Push down to a depth of about 5 cm, and release fully after each compression, continue till 30 compressions.
After 30 chest compressions, give two rescue breaths. To give the breath, keep the head tilted back and airway open, pinch the nose, make a seal over casualty's mouth and breath in for approximately one second. Continue the cycle of 30 chest compressions to two rescue breaths until help arrives. If there is more than one first aider, swap over doing chest compressions regularly. Once defibrillator arrives it should be used immediately. If casualty start breathing before medical aid, keep the casualty under observation in recovery position until transport to hospital.